Introduction Rahul has a windmill. Taking the windmill in hand, he starts running. See, the windmill in his hand is moving so fast. How does it happen? See, this boy is flying a kite. The kite flies so high. How does it fly? The windmill moves due to movement of air and so does the kite fly. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define air Explain the different constituents of air Discuss the properties and uses of air Explain air as a mixture Are you feeling hot due to lack of air? Now put your ceiling fan on. You can feel the presence of air. You must have sensed the nice cold breeze in a fine morning. This is also due to movement of air. This moving air is called wind. We can know the direction of wind with the help of wind vanes. Air is colorless and enables us to see everything through it as it is. It has no smell and taste. Air occupies space. To understand this, take a pitcher and dip straight into the water. See, no water enters into the pitcher. Now tilt the pitcher slightly. See, the air bubbles are coming out of the pitcher and water starts entering into it. So you can see that the pitcher is not empty. Air that was present in the pitcher is coming out. This shows that air occupies space. Inflate an air pillow. What do you see? It grows in size. This shows that air occupies space and has no definite shape. Air has weight as well. Put the air-filled ball on one side of a balance and a similar empty and squeezed ball on the other side. You can see the pan with squeezed ball goes up, indicating that it is lighter than the air-filled one. Now take two empty test tubes and place a balloon over the mouth of each bottle. Put one test tube in a pan of hot water and the other one in a pan with ice. Observe carefully. The balloon on the test tube in hot water begins to inflate. This is because the hot water heats the air inside test tube and the ice cools the air in the other. When air gets warm, it expands and rises, which inflates the balloon. On the other hand, Cool air contracts, causing the other balloon to shrink. This shows that air exerts pressure. Take a cylinder fitted with piston. Press the piston inward. You can compress inside the cylinder, so air can be compressed. When you take out a water bottle from the freeze, some water droplets appear on the outer surface of the bottle. Where do the water droplets come from? Is water leaking through the bottle? No, it's not the case. Water vapor present in the air turns back into liquid when it touches the cold outer surface of the bottle. This proves air contains water vapor. Now take lime water in a test tube. With a syringe, blow some air through this solution. You can see that lime water turns milky. 
This indicates the presence of carbon dioxide in air. Put your torchlight on while walking through a dark place. You will see tiny shining particles moving in the beam of torchlight. These are the dust particles present in air. All these activities bring us to conclusion that air is a mixture of gases and dust particles. Summary Let us summarize what we have learnt. Air is found everywhere. Air is invisible, colourless, odourless and tasteless. We can feel air. Air occupies space but have no definite shape. Air has weight, can be compressed and exerts pressure. Air is a mixture of nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, water vapour and few other gases. Smoke and dust particles are also present in air. Oxygen supports burning and is essential for all living organisms.